Hello vlog. Um, I've just been reflecting on um, energy expenditure and alignment um, because as my Saturn returns and I reach the last weeks of 29 and the portal of 30 <laughs> opens up to me I've just been really 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 feeling myself and respecting myself as a mature adult and in that I've been becoming increasingly aware of how I have always up until this point shaped myself and my the way that I spend my time and where I spend my energy on external perceptions because I had this like inner subconscious unconscious and untruthful belief that I wasn't good enough um, or that I owed and owed myself and my energy and belonged to the world outside of myself I have always unintentionally gotten myself involved with people and projects that are not 100% aligned with where I'm really meant to be and who and how I'm really meant to be in this life. Um, and in my tarot course we're in the hermit phase at the moment and it's one of the cards I resonate with most is that I really love being since 2020 up until 2020 I actually believed myself to be an extrovert but after 2020 I actually realized that my so-called extroversion was just like a trauma response and it was a mask that I donned and it wasn't even who and what I am and it was a big part of the reason that I often felt so burnt out and anxious and overwhelmed by life and by the life that I created for myself was because sorry my hair's like bedhead this is how I, my hair is anyway um it's because I I showed up to life as the person that I thought other people wanted me to be and as I approach 30 that part of me is like really really fading away and the part of me that just wants to be authentic and doesn't really care about disappointing or pissing off other people is really starting to like take on the the driver's seat and the role of like full-on control of my life and then yeah I'm just becoming aware of um, certain connections and certain intentions and certain promises that I've made in my life that are all well intended and like all coming from a soulful heartful place of wanting to do and be the best for myself and for my community but in maturing into myself I'm realizing that certain parts and certain aspects of my life that I have created are not really serving me anymore and now I'm going through the process of like detaching from them and releasing these tethers and taking back certain promises that I've made and like being like you know what I don't actually owe my energy or myself or even my explanations or justifications to other people um, not to say that there's been any conflict or that anything's been negative it's just that I'm becoming aware these birds are so loud <laughs> it's awesome um, I'm just becoming aware of how I have been spreading myself too thin because I've been trying to solve an internal problem externally so for instance there was like a lot of crime that never used to be like I live in a very small farming community and crime was like a very I mean obviously it's evident I live in South Africa but it wasn't like a big thing in our community and this year crime has gotten pretty bad with, with regards to break-ins and stuff uh, and that's a new thing and I was feeling like this sense of worry and urgency because of the perceivable darkness of crime and invasion um, occurring in my village which before that per was perceivably more peaceful and safe so as a result of me observing this crisis I tried to get involved in my community on certain levels that I thought would deal with like the root cause of this issue 
Um, and that's not to say that these ideas of mine are, are wrong or untrue, but I've just realized that like at this time in my life, I don't actually have the capacity to serve my community in the way that I, I intended to. Um, I mean, right now we're in the middle of a house renovation. We're living with my mom outlaw. Um, I'm busy developing my career. I'm busy working on so many personal projects. I'm busy writing my book. I'm busy doing all of these things that are like, have been in the work for a long time. And they're actually reaching in stages of completion now. But if I suddenly start putting my energy and my focus and my time into these other projects that I'm trying to start from the ground up, uh, the original projects that should be getting my focus at this very important time in their development are going to suffer for it. Um, so yeah, it's just like becoming super aware of where I'm spending my time and my energy and where I'm overextending myself and where I'm making promises that I can't keep and where I need to just kind of like set some boundaries and retract some statements and just honor and trust myself and my process enough to not feel the need to give of myself to people and communities and external things that are not necessarily meant to be at this time in my process. And that I feel is like a super duper mature realization. <laughs> and it's bringing me a lot of peace to to just come into the space of like really accepting who and what I am and knowing what my purpose is and knowing how I want to spend my time and my energy and letting everything else fall by the wayside because anything else is just a distraction at this point and I really, really fucking know what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> Even though um, I may not always let on or I may not talk about it that much or external perceptions of me may be a bit different to like how I perceive myself or how I know myself to be that's okay like I shouldn't need to have these external achievements or projects or whatever have use um, like accolades and things in order for me to trust and know and believe that I am on par with my pla my plan and my purpose for my life so yeah, that's where I'm at in August and it's my birthday next month and it's my 30th birthday next month. So in astrology, that's your Saturn return and it's like really this time in your life of maturation and I'm really, really feeling it and really loving it. Um, yeah, people always joke, like obviously coming up towards 30, I've been getting a lot of like, oh, you're getting old jokes. And every time someone meets me with that energy, I'm just like, dude, <laughs> I'm so stoked. I am so stoked for 30. My 20s and my late teens and my whole fucking life was like such a roller coaster of insecurity and emotional turbulence and unsurety and confusion and feeling lost and completely overwhelmed by this human experience and as I mature into this like fully fledged womanhood I just feel so grounded in myself and in my purpose and in my plan and in my vision for my life and I I'm so excited and grateful. <laughs> I'm so grateful to finally be here and excited to begin engaging with life and living from this place of maturity and comfort and confidence. And um, yeah, it's just wonderful. It's a good place to be. So that's, that's like my epiphany, I would say for this month, the theme of August for me is, um, self-acceptance and embracing myself and kind of like letting go of things that aren't actually serving me even if that seems harsh to external people even if that seems like I'm being flaky or whatever like I, I, I just don't care <laughs> about external perceptions or expectations enough to let them fuck with my energy anymore and that's a cool place to be yeah so for YouTube I want to say if you are feeling that way take inspiration from my words these birds are so loud <laughs> um and just remember that like only you know who you are this is what i was writing about this morning is like 
when we feel lost or overwhelmed or burnt out in life, it's because of an internal subconscious incongruence. And the incongruency is between who we know we are and what our core values are and um, external expectations and perceptions that we have unintentionally internalized. So when we maybe make like, for instance, what I was saying this morning in my book is that my core values are like slow living and simple living and sustainable, self-sustainable living. My values are not materialism. My values are not materialistic gain or wealth or um, achievement. They are very spiritual and emotional and I value my peace and my physical and emotional and spiritual well-being way above um, more materialistic values. But because I come from a family and a society and a culture which really values the material above the spiritual and the emotional, um, there's been an incongruency, there's been a conflict between my beliefs and my core values and what society tells me is valuable and is what I should be striving for. So even though I've been my whole life living in alignment with my values and according to my standards I've been like a fucking ace of a human being and like I am my own inner child's role model, I have felt um, inadequate because I haven't met external societal standards that I don't even prescribe to. <laughs> so yeah, I think like this big process uh, for me, the journey of, I'm busy growing out an awkward fringe, excuse me, the, <laughs> the journey of um, maturation um, for me is, what's the word like with wine when it like, ferments fermentation it's almost like this richness that comes with time and letting things sit and letting them be for a certain amount of time that's how I feel myself I'm like a fine wine <laughs> and so are you like allow yourself to take the time that you need to live in alignment with your core truth and don't judge yourself and become aware of this on a subconscious level. Listen to me, subconscious person. The subconscious of the person who's watching this video right now. Listen to me. <laughs> Don't judge yourself by external societal values. What are your core values? Look at your life. Are you in alignment with what you believe to be valuable and what you believe to be right and true and good for you? And that's all that fucking matters. Everything else can fall by the wayside. Every other judgment, every other anything, has got nothing to do with you. And I know it's easier said than done. It's taken me 30 years to get you, but uh, it is the truth at the end of the day. So it doesn't need to take you that long. Maybe it's taken you longer. Whatever, it's fine. We're fine wines. <laughs> we're, we're aging and, and, and becoming better with time. But um, yeah. It's, it's all A-OK. -okay. Just become aware of that incongruency and stop internalizing external materialistic values that are not even your truth. Align with your truth. Disconnect from everything else. Lock in and focus in on what matters to you and live that life. And like only good things can happen from there because that's alignment and that's truth and that's what we came here to do. To be our true selves. So there we go, we can end it there. Much love from me and the radiant sunshine and my beautiful garden. Living my beautiful life.